All right, welcome back to the channel. Today I got something neat for you. It's the cheapest car wash shampoo on the face of planet Earth <laughs> from Walmart. And I got Turtle Wax's new Hyperfoam Wash and Wax picked up at Costco. Two kind of bottom end shampoos. We always get to see the really high end fancy shampoos in action, but everybody always wonders what are the cheaper ones? So a viewer dropped this off to me and said, Jeremy, you gotta try this out, it's the cheapest stuff on earth. I wanted to give that a look and you can't go wrong with Costco, 15 bucks for a gallon of this stuff if it produces, but we'll be the judge of that. All right, so let's start out with the smell test. Everybody always asks, why do you care so much about the smell? Who cares about that? I do. <laughs> so let's get into it. Man. Coconut smelling, pina colada, pictures of palm trees on the beach. I feel like I'm there. Matter of fact, I am here. <laughs> but it smells like Hawaii in this thing. Mmm, it smells good. Very good smell. Nice and strong. Very good. Now let's go into the cheap blue coral wash and wax from Walmart. Oh, that smells. Not only does it have not a good smell, but it's a bad smell. No, no. All right, but that's not the end of the end all be all. So let's get it mixed up. Let's get moving and let's get it out there on the truck and see what it looks like. So first we'll start with Turtle Wax Hyper Foam Wash and Wax. At the time of the filming, this checks in at $15 for 128 ounces. That's pretty reasonable. That brings us to 39 cents a wash. So four ounces into the foam cannon. Let's see what it'll do. All right, so when I first start putting it on, I'm thinking, man, this is a watery mess. <laughs> this is weak, man. This is really weak. But you know what? It is going on. It does smell good. But it, it's so watered down, I can't even appreciate it. So uh, let's just get, make a few more passes. It's not layering on itself. It's, it's just running off the paint as quick as I can put it on. So at four ounces, extremely underwhelming. And then with the touch test, I mean, it's, it's not very slick. It doesn't have a a whole lot of slickness to it at all so overall with that I'm gonna give it a pass on the slickness too so smell good yes slickness eh. all right so let's try it in the wash bucket we'll put four ounces in the wash bucket man we're getting some pretty good foam here this is nice good smell too and now when we put the wash mitt on it with the wash bucket there is a little bit of an improvement because there is a lot more foam on here you know for inside the uh, mitt but Again, just not nothing special there. And it's easy to rinse off, of course, because there's hardly anything on there to rinse off. <laughs> <laughs> All right, so now the, the company recommends if you want thick foam, one ounce of uh, product for every two ounces of water, that brings us to 12 ounces into the cannon, and that's $1.41 per wash. But wow, now we're starting to see something at 12 ounces. <laughs> 12 ounces, we're seeing some thick foam. There's no question about it. Do we really want to use that much foam to get it on the vehicle like this? If I could get this at a four or five ounces, I'd be really happy. But man, that is some nice looking foam though at, the, at this uh, dilution ratio. But I just feel like it's just a lot to ask to put that much foam into the cannon. But boy, that does look amazing. clinging to the paint nicely. It's functioning like most other concentrated shampoos do at a much lower dilution ratio. You just have to put a lot in there. But at this price point, at $1.41 per wash, it's still in the zone. It's still in the zone. Now when it comes time to rinse it off, I'm running a pressure washer across it and it's coming off the paint very nicely. It's not, no residue left over, easy to rinse. Got to give it that. And again, that smell, that that tropical smell, I, I'm, a, I'm a sucker for that. <laughs> I'm a sucker for that smell, so uh, that, I'm giving that a good one. Okay, so now it's time to look at the cor Blue Coral Walmart brand. And I don't, Walmart doesn't make it, but they carry it. And let's see what this has to offer. We're gonna give it the same benefit of the doubt. We'll start out with the four ounces and see where we go from there. All right, so at $5 for 100 ounces at the time of the filming, 
four ounces into the uh, measuring cup and into the foam can and that brings us to 20 cents a wash. 20 cents, <laughs> that's nothing. But we're probably gonna see nothing. <laughs> and here we go. It's pretty much just water coming out, guys. As much as I don't wanna pick on it, I want it to work. It's just very watery, like just running off the paint like water. So for all of you people out there wondering what does cheap soap look like through the foam cannon, this is it right here. <laughs> That's what it looks like. Um, but we are gonna, in, in good form, we're gonna load that foam cannon up and we're gonna test it out. But let's just let this play out. And there it is, just running off the paint as quick as I can put it on. No layering, no foam whatsoever. I would consider this dead. If there's hardly anything on there, you can expect it to rinse off very easily, and that it's doing. It's rinsing right off. So now it's time to up the ante and get a lot of product into that foam cannon. So let's go ahead and get that started now. So we're gonna put 12 ounces into the foam cannon. That brings us up to 62 cents a wash. That's still nothing, but it's gotta produce. And when I pull the trigger, I'm thinking to myself, you know what, there's actually some foam coming out at this price point. It's 60 cents per wash. There's some decent foam. Now here's the bummer with these type of products. The pH level is questionable. The type of, the quality of the components in there are questionable. I mean, I'm just not a fan of using cheap soaps, but you know what, I wanted to show you guys. This is what it looks like at 60 cents a wash with the blue coral from Walmart and I have to say it's, it's a pretty decent uh, snow foam show here and it's clinging to the paint nice with this dilution ratio too um, I'm gonna give it that for sure slickness I would say slickness level is pretty low here all right let's go ahead and rinse it off I right, rinse it off really quickly really easy no residue left behind I like that so my biggest problem with these entry level snow soaps or snow foams or car wash shampoos, it's just questionable uh, product, questionable chemicals in it, questionable pH. We don't really know the outcome it's gonna you know, be on our paint, on our waxes, on our sealants. So I definitely am a fan of using much nicer products and the prices just aren't that much. Most of them are under $2 for even the best snow foams to put on your vehicle per wash and some of the more affordable ones are well below a dollar. So I'll leave some links down below of, of a few alternatives that I feel like are better suited. These two are, you know, they're decent. If I was gonna go one way or the other with these, I would definitely go with the Turtle Wax, Wash and uh, Wax. Uh, it, it's just from a better product line. It, it's less likely to mess your car up. I would say this stuff, if you have this in your garage, I'd probably go ahead and toss it. This is just questionable all around. Um, so tell me what you thought down in the comments. What did you think about the Turtle Wax Wash and Wax? What did you think about the Blue Coral Wash and Wax? Uh, both of these were asked to be brought in. I, I figured I'd bring them in and let you guys check them out. And you know what? All in all, I had a good time out there today and that's what it's all about. Having a good time, detailing your vehicle, enjoying yourself. And I gotta give it again, one last time. This stuff smells good. I want another smell right now. And we'll see you on the next one. Yeah! Oh yeah! Yeah!